So to answer her question about the shampoo bar, there are two differences. The neem and tea tree is because neem, okay, does anybody know what neem is? Okay, you've heard the name tea tree. I'm sure everybody's heard tea tree, right? Mm -hmm. But tea tree is an astringent, okay? An astringent is, um, okay, well, we don't have to go into exactly what it is, but like salicylic acid, those are astringents, things that clean you, right? So if you have any kind of scalp issues or psoriasis or any kind of issues like that, you want to use a neem and tea tree. And then coconut and shea literally has coconut oil in it and shea butter. It solves so many problems because you know how you know some people will pre-poo? or like put or olive oil in their hair before they shampoo. Basically, everyone's scared to wash their hair <laughs> because when you wash your hair, it's almost like starting all over again. It might take a couple of days to get your hair moisturized to where it looks good. You might not have good first day hair, you might have good third day hair per se, but if you use something like a shampoo, but it's not stripping your hair of all the oils, actually washing your hair with oils as you cleanse it, you have to start all over so you can have great first day hair. So the coconut and shea just adds more moisture to your hair and the neem and tea tree have a drier, itchy scalp. The way to best use these, you can just use it by itself and just go like this, right? A little bit goes a long way because what it is is it's four ounces, but what people don't realize is that this four ounces in the shampoo bar is actually more than a liquid. A liquid shampoo bar is about eight ounces, about average, maybe 12 ounces, right? But it's 80 to 90% water, which you guys don't understand. So I'm telling you all the little secrets. I'm like, is this is good because they're going to be mindful when they're shopping. So when you're so shopping pure, and you go yeah, into a... Yeah, it's pure shampoo, it's undiluted. And so you can chop it into pieces. I was getting ready to say that. Because I keep told you, I saw that picture I posted, right, where you can chop it into pieces. And now we can share it with your people no, too. No, you just keep it to yourself and have more to use later. <laughs> <laughs> but a little section is really all you need to have a really, really good lab that it's just a different way of thinking. So if you're going to the store and you're like in the aisle or whatever to buy things, right, there might be like, you know, like Dove body wash, right? Or like, you know, ivory soap. When you're buying like a bar soap, a little bit you have a really good lather but sometimes you use like a body wash you have to put a whole lot on the loofah to get the same lather you feel like wait i just wasted all this to get the same wash i could just went like this it's the same thing with the shampoo bar so liquid shampoo is like the body wash and shampoo bar is like the bar soap so a little bit goes a really really long way so you can cut it in pieces you can just use it like this because i'm lazy like that and just keep it dry and actually this will last for like two months right here because it's undiluted so you're actually adding the water to the shampoo bar to dilute it to get the lather that you want so there's different and then the girls in the video show the different techniques of how they use the shampoo bars to wash it because not everybody's the same and then even then you you're you you figure out how you like it best you know would you like to go like this and get the lather from your hands and work it through your hair or do you want to directly put it on your hair or cut it into pieces whatever works well for you is what i say that's the best way to use it but the trick is to actually keep in your hair a little bit longer it's not regular shampoo where you throw it in and wash it right back out because it's full of oils there's palm oil in here there's castor oil in here you actually want to let it sit in your hair. So put the shampoo in your hair, then wash your body. Then you can actually detangle your hair with the shampoo in. And no one believes me until they do it themselves, but you can actually detangle your hair with shampoo if it's a moisturizing shampoo. Put it into the four sections, then you rinse it out, then you get out of the shower, and then you can use a deep conditioner, put a shower cap on, and the trick. Oh, be a natural.